Every wide receiver, Luther Burden, is one of the most exciting and explosive players in the 2025 NFL Draft class. Let's dive into the tape and talk about what has him sitting atop of draft boards and wide receiver lists across the country. The main thing for Luther Burden is yards after the catch, getting the ball in his hands quickly using him in a ton of different ways, whether it's orbit motions, jet sweeps, end arounds in the backfield, design touches, the list does not end for Luther Burden. Here you've got him on an orbit motion around the quarterback to use his explosiveness after the catch with 10 to 12 yards of separation right here when he decides to throw the ball to Burden. Really nice understanding that you've got so much space here utilize that burst he has the ability to make angles the defenders are taking poor especially at that catch point right when they're using their click and close ability you can create yards after catch and create missed tackles that's exactly what luther burden does right here just quick get up to speed and then you can start to make people miss Nice breakdown here, being able to square up a defender, make him think you're going to go to the sideline and try to go around him. He goes underneath to make that guy miss. You see that little quick jab, jab step, side step of that defender, and then almost scores the touchdown there. Here, we've got a lot of the same things happening. You've got a wide receiver screen, so he's just going to kind of wait right here for the football. And this, the quickness, the ability to stop, start, make guys all of these pursuit defenders missed. Like, look at all of these pursuit defenders coming at him. He also has great field vision. So what he sees already is that there is a ton of space out here. If he can get to it, he's going to be able to at least get a first down, which is, you know, the name of the game here. We're trying to score touchdowns, but you want to get the chains moving for your offense. So fantastic job here navigating this entire field after he catches the football, setting up those defenders. To think that he is going to be able to get all the way from the left hand to the right hand side is pretty crazy to watch it happen. But just the nature and the quickness with which he hits these defenders, going and attacking upfield first, making them still believe that he's going to be up going up the field and then getting to the right hand side. A really fantastic job from Luther Burden. Now you've got this open spread formation from. Uh, Missouri with a bunch to the right hand side you've got burden here on the inside of that and he's going to release with timing this concept from Missouri wanting to attack this left hand middle part of the field then he gets to show off his contact balance he has some of the best contact balance I've seen among wide receivers it's very much like a Debo Samuel type of player he's compact excellent short area skills and the ability to generate those downfield plays and make guys miss with contact balance and quickness. Missouri wanted to clear out on the left-hand side. We're going to take their apex receiver. He's going to do a little bit of an in-dig route too, but it's extending. It's wanting the timing. They're going to have this outside receiver run crosser with their running back, Cody Schrader. And Luther Burden is going to attack this deep middle part of the field. With a defense that's in cover three, you've got everything you want being able to attack the intermediate part of the field in between that deep safety and the linebackers with their attention on that crossing route underneath, you get exactly what you're looking for. The defensive back out here, one-on-one -on -one with that receiver with the clear out, you have to take advantage this defensive uh, opportunity in the middle here so that, that wide receiver stopping in the gap. And you got Luther Burden here with eyes from the rest of the defense, again, on crossers, on the quarterback, Burden does a great job of extending his route into the space there. And then knowing that he's going to get hit doesn't affect him at all. He's able to keep going and then almost make this guy miss again. So with all of the things that he can do with the short area ability, he has the burst and speed to still stretch the field. And then finding that field vision that we saw in the previous clip, using it right here to get in between that safety and stay his route all the way through. And then to take that hit as he knows the safety's coming to him very special kind of player makeup that we have in Luther Burden here. What we get to see from him a lot is making guys miss after the catch, whether it's through contact balance, breaking tackles, or missing, making defenders miss in space. He has some nuance to his game. There are some areas that he's going to need to improve upon, but there is intention and subtleness to his game at times that flashes once we get once again we get a little bit of contact bounce here but what i want to focus on is intention he understands at least at this point that he's going to be almost one-on-one -on -one with this defender here so he's going to release inside a little bit extend 
sell that vertical route when he understands and when he sees that the, def the def defender is coming to the inside a little bit here. He's slowly creeping to the inside. That's when we get to see Burden really take off here and then get to that out route, creating that separation over the left-hand side of the field. So inside, then he's going to take it vertical when the, sh the hips open to the inside for that defender. That's when he uses it to break out, and then he breaks tackle. He's very good reading defensive leverage, as we've seen now over the course of the few first clips here, where whether it's getting into open space for the field, whether it's running routes and manipulating some defenders here and there. He has some nuance to his game. My problem with this is that it's not consistent enough. This is a third down play where he's motioning from inside these two receivers to now being more of a reduced split. He's going to run a curl route here on third down, trying to get to the sticks, just get a first down. The, the intention, the usage, the subtleness is lost here. It's a slow route. There's not a lot of speed dilation. The speed dilation meaning that you're trying to use different speeds and vary your speeds to throw off defenders there's no real acceleration to try and sell vertical and at the top of his route it's very loose and it's a little bit lazy in my in my opinion that's what i want to see carved out of his game he has the ability to stop on a dime to decelerate very quickly none of that's on display here and unfortunately there's a lot throughout his tape of not full effort and i will give benefit of the doubt because a lot of it seems to be taught at missouri lots of receivers running decoy routes not having that full speed mentality but it shows up in multiple areas so needs to be much more crisp in and out of his breaks more consistently here's another example of that where we have him inside more of this stack formation where he's going to be coming open over the middle of the field and at the top he could generate far more separation with a quick, clean break. But this is rounded. It's slow. Obviously, the ball's behind him. The referee is underneath there. But this is basically your one-on-one -on -one with this outside leveraged defender. This should be easy, speed, in route, get open, let Brady Cook lead you. And that wouldn't have mattered as much in this situation because the throw was behind him. But you got to get here. You speed cut, get out of that break quickly. So cleaning up his route running consistency and using more effort, having more real speed dilation where he's able to sell vertical, use all that space, make those defenders think you're going to go vertical and then break off of it and then just cleanly decelerate i think he's going to be a far more complete wide receiver those are some areas that i'd like to see improved upon in 2024 but we have more usage out of the backfield which is for a, u a unique player as luther burden is where he's able to line up literally everywhere you want him to find that matchup nice job sitting down in space here against zone and then we see again the quickness the contact balance to be able to generate those yards after catch but this is also what i want to see more of you know, just a quick little spot route here where he stops in the zone and then he gives a little head fake, shoulder fake, knee bend, all that stuff inside and comes underneath to be able to get more yards out of it. So you can match him up against linebackers out of the out of the backfield, against some safeties if you put him in the slot, nickels where he's usually a bit more physical than, and that's what you really like to see from the matchup problems that Luther Burden's going to create. And then at the end of the day, he's an excellent ball tracking wide receiver who attacks the football down the field at all times with his hands. He has really good ability to change where the ball is. Obviously, he can he can track it and he can go out and lay out for it. So nice job here of burning down the field. And then at the very last second there, it's not so much of a full push off. It's more of an extension just a bit to get himself more space. So really nice job pulling by that DB. Uh, I'm open. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage. I've stacked this DB. I'm going to use my ball tracking skills and go ahead and and find it so he locates it behind him and then he waits timed perfectly he then gets off the defender makes this tough catch for a touchdown they used him a lot out of the slot this season and against single high safeties you saw him use a lot of fades where they used a ton of really nice shoulder over the shoulder catches and closer to the sideline throws from Brady Cook to Luther Burden. So all in all, we're seeing a full package of talent where he's got really good ball skills, the ability to track the ball down the field. We've seen the yards after catch stuff. Got to clean up some of the route and effort on my side, in my opinion. But 
that's what we got for Luther Burden out of Missouri. If you guys want to see Keith Sanchez's full breakdown of him on the site, make sure you visit thedraftnetwork.com so you can see not just my opinion, but also Keith's opinion on Luther Burden, one of the best wide receivers in college football. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the TDN channel, make sure you hit the sub button and then get the like for the video. You guys have yourselves a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you next time.